Dwayne, obviously nice to be here down in Sorrell and uh, taking our trainings within the greater Hobart community, but this stadium looks pretty good. It's fantastic. It's, uh, to be honest, one of the best uh, facilities I've seen in the country in my travels through NBL through One. Um, quality floor, uh, you know, the, the six hoops and the ability to, to go into a show court. Um, yeah, one of the best facilities that we've used, absolutely. Of course, we're down here on June 3 to take on Ringwood. Obviously, really important that the uh, community around Sorrell and the southeast community here in this part of the state to come out and show a bit of support, I guess. Yeah, definitely. It would be fantastic to see a packed house here at, uh, at Pembroke Park um, when Ringwood, the, the defending champions, come down and you know, hopefully we can give, put on a bit of a show for the fans and, uh, and really engage the community down here and show them that you know, we, we want to be part of this community and, and come down on a regular basis, whether that's for training or for games. Yeah, definitely. Two weeks to go before tip-off up in Alberston. Dwayne, how's the team looking currently at the moment? Yeah, look, I can't believe how quickly it's rolled around. It feels like yesterday that the pre-season started and that's uh, absolutely flown by. Um, look, we've still got some work to do. Um, again, we're, we're very young, uh, a very young squad with uh, two players in their 30s, one player um, I think above over 25 and everyone else is like uh, 21 or under basically. Uh, so again, very young. Um, still hopefully got a couple of uh, external recruits to come in over the next two weeks. Uh, just com just uh, uh, confirming a few details for that. Um, and aside from that, you know, we're pretty confident that we can, we can certainly give Launceston a run for their money in that first game and sort of set the tone uh, for the rest of the season um, with a good showing there in, uh, in Alveston. And yeah, just really looking forward to getting out there and, and um, dusting off the cobwebs and, and getting back into it again. How important, oh, sorry, how vital has been Kayla Steinel to the program right now? You know, watched, a bit, watched most of your training session there, Dwayne. She's taking good leadership from the word go. Yeah, absolutely. She's been a, a godsend, really. Um, you know, with the, with the loss of Kylie, um, there really was a, a bit of a leadership void there, and, and Kayla's really stepped in and, um, on her own volition, taken, taken up that mantle and really shown some, used her experience to really help the girls. Um, and uh, she's had a couple of weeks off with some family issues in, in the state, so today was her first training back and um, probably the best training she's had. <laughs> so um, that's a good sign and hopefully uh, two weeks' time we'll, we'll get to see some quality basketball from her. And of course with the, with the local talent, Dwayne, obviously they've been working hard since late last year and they must be excited about you know two weeks' time and up in Alberston to get a bit of, you know a bit of a taste of that NBL One South action. Yeah, absolutely. I've I've really put in the work again this pre-season. I think we've upped the ante a little bit um, compared to our pre-season last year, which was already um, pretty high level. Um, so there's a few girls that are really chomping at the bit to try to get out there and, and show I guess where they've developed to um, from their from where we left off last year. Uh, players like Zoe Banks and, and Leah Bartlett, I think, are, are ready to take another step forward. And obviously we've got Alex Finlayson, one of our more experienced players, who I think um, interrupted pre-season last year, has had a, had a good crack at it this year and really excited about what she might be able to bring uh, to the group this year. That momentum you had in that final home game, obviously it was a little bit of a save your best till last. Can, can that momentum come into that first game in Olveston in a couple of weeks' time? Yeah, we were obviously disappointed in that game that we didn't come away with the win because I think we were probably the best, better of the two teams for 35 minutes of that game. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think that was a, a real showing for us and our fans and, and the club that um, the development that we had gone through for that season really was heading in the right track. So I think um, we're really looking forward to sort of keeping that going and, and getting out there against Launceston again. Uh, to, to sort of show that we're still heading down that path and we're really in year two of that journey, I suppose, and uh, excited about how that's going to look uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Obviously, round one in Olveston, round two on the road over in Melbourne, round three after the Easter break, we're, we're home. And, of course, season tickets are now available too, Dwayne, for anyone that's, <laughs> that's wondering and wants to get a, get a seat down at Creek Road. How important is it for our fans to come out and support us in our first home game against the Melbourne Tigers in late April? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we've got a bit of a wait for that first home game and um, it's great to be back at, at Creek Road and um, where we've had a lot of, lot of success as a club. And uh, it'll be fantastic to see a, a full house of that first home game uh, back in... Uh, back in, uh, I guess, the central suburbs of Hobart. And, um, yeah, we, we want to see all of our Hobart basketball community out there supporting the team and, and hopefully we can put on a show for them.
Absolutely, and good to see a few young ones here as well too. I think we're hosting a, a little bit of a clink as well here, Dwayne. So nice to see already there's some good support around the community here. Yeah, definitely. Um, part of the reason why we wanted to come down this weekend was sort of to, uh, to get in touch with the community and show the local kids what we're doing with this program and um, you know, let them know that if they use this facility well enough that maybe one day they can be part of that as well. So um, yeah, uh, and we hope to come back a couple of times through the year to, to do similar things and yeah, it's great to see so many kids here getting in amongst it. That certainly is. Dwayne, thanks for your time and we'll speak soon. No worries, see you soon.